Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can easily edit your boudoir photos or how you can easily edit uh, swimsuit photos in just Photoshop. And in this tutorial, I just want to focus on removing how these distractions from the image and also how we can deal with extending this kind of background and getting rid of this black background right here in the backdrop. So that is what we're going to be doing for this tutorial and we do skin retouching. On this very nice and beautiful image taken sometime last year so I'm just going to come to my camera and this is a rough I'll take a use Mechanic 60 camera and I shot it at ISO 250 using a 35 millimeter lens and I shot it at f4 and the shutter speed was one out of 230 seconds so usually I just want to get my basic adjustments right before I can do any other process or step in Photoshop I'm just going to come and I play around with this highlights just take them down and also since i want the whites to be to pop a little bit more i'm just going to intensify the whites this time but take the whites uh, down slightly then add contrast to the image to around 12 and add some little bit of blacks then i'm going to open up my shadows just like that and you can see the before and after right now so i'm just going to do some basic adjustments then the next thing I want to do I'm just going to come and add some clarity into the image around 5 then come to the HSL panel I'm going to turn down the luminance of the oranges just like that and come to the hues and take my oranges towards uh, just going to take it towards the yellow side remember when I move the oranges towards the right hand side I be changing them to look like the color beneath it so i'm just going to do that like that and also do the same for the reds just like that a little bit so this is the before after before after then i'm going to open the image into photoshop to do skin retouching but remember i want a 16-bit image so i'm just going to come and choose 16-bit channel and leave the space to rgb and hit ok and just hit open you know that open the image into photoshop to do are the skin retouching so i'm just going to wait for it to load for a few seconds and here we are in photoshop so usually i crop the image all my images in a ratio of 45 i'm just going to get the crop tool and come and crop it in a ratio of 45 just like that so just going to move it just like that and i think this looks fine and i'm going to hit enter on the keyboard and after doing that, I just want to eliminate, you can see, we still have this kind of black edges or black background popping right within the, the, the backdrop right here. So I'm just going to get a clone stamp tool and duplicate the background there by hitting Ctrl Command J on the keyboard. I'm just going to, this is rather a spot healing brush tool, not a clone stamp, and just click right here. So I'm just going to paint left click and paint over that area to get rid of it from uh, the image so it is going to do a pretty nice job and if at all you are used to a lasso tool or whichever tool you can work with with that so it has cleaned up that area quite well and i'm going to come and get my clone stamp tool this time around i'm just going to increase on the size and simply copy i'm just going to click alternate to copy from this area and start painting to get rid of this soft box so alternate you copy from this area and simply paint over that soft box to get rid of it so i'm basically copying and painting just like that so we are done removing the distractions from uh, this photo so don't mind about the foreground right here so anything is going to be skin retouching, you can see before and after what we have just done to clean up those areas. I'm just going to merge these two layers by hitting Shift Command E or Shift Control E for Windows. I'm going to merge these two layers and I'm going to come to my frequency separation action. And since this is an 8-bit, a 16-bit image, I'm going to come and I play my 16-bit frequency separation action. And those interested... The link is going to be in the description of this video so that you can support this channel by purchasing my actions and presets to help you retouch faster and color grade faster. Just going to come and I play my 16-bit action. And when it reaches this step, remember 
I have to look for the area with prominent skin textures or details within the skin. For this Im image, I'm just going to use the face as the reference and start moving the radius just like that up to a point when those details start getting lost from the photo. So I think at around 5.0 we are good to go and simply hit OK. So it is going to load and continue playing. And right now, usually my action has a black and white and you can use this layer as a check layer. But for this case, I'm just going to turn it off and use a different method which is turning off the high frequency or the texture layer. So come to the mixer brush tool and simply right click and get my mixer brush tool. Make sure it is a clean brush and make sure a second option is checked because we want Photoshop to automatically clean the brush as we're trying to even out the skin tones of this image. The weight is going to be 9%, load 75, mix 90 and the flow 100. Make sure a sample alias is not checked because as we are painting we don't want the brush to pick sample color or color from different areas of the photo and paint it to another area. We just want the brush to be very clean and not to paste textures or details as you're trying to even out the skin tones. So come and make sure that you have selected the low frequency layer or the color that has the color or skin tones. Now you have to zoom in. We just want to start evening out the skin tones in these areas that have enough skin. So reduce on the size. So how we are going to do this, we're just going to use the mixer brush tool by blending colors that look alike in this photo. So just come and paint just like that. Reduce on the size depending on the area. So just want to blend colors that look alike in the image just like that. And just come and paint. So you have to take your time as you're doing this process. We don't want to rush through. We just want a very fine and beautiful image at the end of uh, the process. So just come and paint and you can see that it is just smoothening out uh, the tones and making them even and making them blend really nice and have that natural transition all around. So just increase on the size and just come and blend these other areas just like that. And you can see this is really working. But as we are using this technique of turning off the texture, you may be looking at the image like you're not doing enough work and you're not doing enough trying to retouch. But uh, when you come and turn on the textures right here, you can see the before and after. You can see that we have really done a pretty nice job and the textures are still intact in this photo. So I'm just going to come and increase on the size and turn this back off. As we are still selected on the low frequency layer and just continue painting through this area and we refine it and make it look quite better just like that. So just come and do this and reduce on the size and you're just going to work on the hands of the model just like that or any other area that has skin. So remember we haven't worked on the face and this other hand. Reduce on the size and just come and work on this area too just like that so just basically trying to even out or blend the transition within uh, the skin tone just like that i hope you can see what we are doing in real time as we have turned off the texture or high frequency layer so reduce on the size and paint so i'm basically left clicking and moving my cursor to different areas as i'm trying to even out the tones in the image. Come to this other hand and also work on it. Remember, we are doing skin retouching and we just want to refine every area that has skin. So the hand is part of the skin and come and turn this back on, zoom out and see what we have so far. So this is the before and after before after. It is really natural, but we still have the original skin details and now the other technique that you can use to refine, for example, this area is coming to the low frequency layer and getting your lasso tool and applying a different technique for frequency separation. So feathering this 22 pixels and the first option is or the selection option is really selected. And now zoom in and come and start 
making a selection just like that so I'm not selecting the tattoo area I'm just trying to avoid it select skin so if at all you select a cloth you should come and redo or remake your selection just like that come to filter and come to blur and come to gush and blur so for this radius we may have used just multiply it by five to have a better result for example on the leg so i'm just going to multiply five by five and simply type in 25 and that looks fine and hit ok and, and i'm just going to apply it to the rest of the model's skin in this particular area so i use this for the lower parts of the body like the legs and make them look better so you can see right now it is really a better and looks beautiful this is the before and this is the after and the image is looking very natural so anything is going to be cleaning up these other areas you can go ahead and do a little bit of dodging and burning if at all you really wish to and add a little bit of shine to this area but i feel like the image is okay the way it is just going to delete the black and white layer and create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift alternate command e on the keyboard or shift alternate control e on the keyboard and i'm going to come and get the mixer brush tool and start painting through to clean up remember I just want to clean up this ground area i hope you can see it so get the mixer brush tool same wetness and the same settings we had for frequency separation and move my brush towards the opposite direction of the area i want to clean remember if at all I have some dirt in this area and as you're doing this I would recommend that you come and create a black and white layer on top of that layer and now just darken and when you darken the reds you can see that you can see every dirt clearly in the background or in the backdrop so just come and start painting just like that so I want to get rid of this white line in the backdrop just going to come and paint in the opposite direction remember the line is moving like this I'm just going to move my mixer brush tool in the opposite direction in an up down kind of movement to get rid of that line in that area just like that and it does a pretty a nice job cleaning up so let's just clean up this and we get done with the retouching process of this image and Remember after retouching and as you're retouching I would recommend that you select that layer that you're working That's why it was not applying any effects. So just come and select the layer that you want and just come and paint using a mixer brush tool and Follow the opposite direction of the area you're trying to do the cleaning onto So you can see this white line remember we are working on this layer so you can see that white line just come and move towards the opposite direction of uh, that line in the background and it's going to do a pretty nice cleaning job in those areas so i'm just starting with the background area or the farthest area all the areas close to the top topmost body of uh, the model so that i don't forget to clean up those areas so that is the advantage of the black and white layer. Remember, it helps us see the areas that have those dark areas. And without it, you can see that it is very hard to see those dark areas. So I'm just going to turn it back on and use a mixer brush tool and just try to paint through and create a smooth transition within those dark areas. And it is going to do a pretty nice job and save so so much time when you're trying to clean up your backdrop reduce on the size depending on the area you're trying to work on and depending on the selection you're trying to move or clean it may take a few seconds trying to load and take effect but uh, within a short time it is going to be done so you're just going to come and clean these other areas just like that and you can see that we are now cleaning up every dirty area just like that and we are making this a seamless white background so 
we have just cleaned up that area and let's see what we have so far turn this off and you can see right now it is very nice and clean so you can come and clean up this area because as we're removing the soft box it made it look weird or awkward so just come and paint through and you can see this looks nice and amazing so right now we are done cleaning up everything so just want to add some little bit of touch up to the image and maybe darkening or enhancing the image a little bit more so in order to do this we are just going to come uh, to the black and white layer and simply delete it and come to the selective color option or tool and simply come the blacks and we just darken the blacks so that the model can really pop out of the background even more so I'm just going to take this up to around let's go with around 14 or 15 can do and next thing I just want to create that kind of melanin feel to the model just going to come to black and white and change that layer into multiply just like that and simply reduce on the opacity of our layer so I'm just going to leave it at around 14 14 looks good so let's see the before and after overall for skin retouching and cleaning up of the backdrop so this is the image before and this is the after before after before after so basically this is how to edit your Bodwa studio photos and if at all you have learned something don't forget to hit the like button so if at all you want to save your images after you have retouched them simply come to file export and come to export as and when you come to export as simply come and make sure you select the format as jpeg and usually the quality is 100 percent for if at all you want a very sharp or a sharper image after retouching just come and change the sample from bicubic automatic to bicubic sharper and this is going to add some little bit of sharpening to your images after you have been able to retouch them and also come and embed color profile and also check the option that says convert srgb in order to avoid the issues of color change after you have been able to retouch your images so after doing that you are not going to be having those issues of color changes after saving your images and simply hit export and I'm going to name this Bodoa just like that and I'm going to save it in my desktop and basically this is it for this story and if at all you have loved this video don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing shows. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.